how did you get your drivers on board with cameras to begin with? Um, you know, what, what kind of communication, what kind of process, um, was there a flow to it? What, uh, what did you do? They hated cameras. We already had cameras. They hated them. Because any time there was a conversation about a camera, it was bad. There was, there was never a good conversation when a camera was involved. Because we never saw those periods of time. I couldn't go grab those other cameras, yank the card out of them, and just peruse the videos for 10 hours. Mm -hmm. So they hated the cameras. So what we did after talking to some of your staff and getting some idea of the difference in the concept, we didn't. We weren't living it yet, but we heard the sales pitches and they made sense to us. So what we did is we started to install them and we just left them alone. We didn't do a thing. We just had them in the trucks and we let them be in the trucks. And the driver's going, wait, where's this app you guys talked about? Where's this, you know, when are you going to start calling us? You know, they're, they're going to bitch at us. They're going to complain about everything. And we just left them alone. They didn't get a phone call. They didn't get a peep out of us for 30 or 60 days minimum. And then we brought them in one by one, sat them down and said, hey, let's see how you've done. Why don't we grab your video, Billy? I'm gonna grab your video. We're gonna take a look at it and just see how you do. You know, you're, you've got 30 years experience driving a truck. You're a super trucker. And you think that, you know, we're always picking on you guys. Well, let's just go look and see how you do. And we had some drivers that amazing, I mean, just holy crap. I mean, just amazing, amazing performance. And then we had more than a few that it wasn't so amazing. And when they started to say, and they go, hey, how many times do you think you run a stop sign in a, in a week? Well, I've never run a stop sign. How many times do you ever think you've tail? I don't tailgate. Don't you tell me I've tailgated. Well, you know, let's just, Let's say, hey, let's grab this video, click. And we start watching the video and here's this driver doing 72 miles an hour behind a minivan and he's 0.6 seconds off his bumper. Oh, maybe this isn't you. Oh, no, 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 look, that's your face in the inside camera. Oh my gosh. Well, maybe, okay, maybe that's, maybe we, that the camera made that up. So let's go, oh, look, here's another one really quickly in 20 minutes of having that conversation that stopped right that minute and it allowed the drivers by seeing their actual driving habits to recognize the things that i'll be honest they didn't believe it and i don't mean they didn't believe the cameras and the net system they absolutely did but they didn't perceive that their driving was what it really was. And I'll be honest, it was not just the forward camera, it's the side cameras, it's the inside camera. All those things glued together allow the driver to see a true picture of what's going on. If I've got a guy in the truck eating pasta out of a little bowl and he's got both hands on the bowl and he's driving through a construction zone on the freeway, he can't argue with me when I tell him that's not acceptable. And I don't ever have to say it to him again because they there's it's indisputable. It's not Roger's a jerk and he's picking on me or the safety department doesn't like me. It's like, dude, let me compare you to everybody else distracted driving. You're the guy. You're the worst guy. And this this can't continue, right? I mean, this can't continue. If I showed this to your wife, your wife would tell you, you're you're not caring about your family. So, it, it's it was very easy for us, once we allowed them to play, showed them what they did wrong, and then gave them the access to the dashboard. It it just the switch went off for our drivers. 